Today we're going to talk about the semicolon, an English love story. Grab your popcorn, it's all about being grammatically correct. Turn the lights down low. This is about an English love story, the mighty magical semicolon. Once there was a girl, she was strong, she was independent, she had a subject, a verb, and a complete thought. She was, gentlemen, the complete package. You might call her an independent clause. Here's an example. John wants to ask Mary for a date. John is the subject, wants is the verb, complete thought. Once there was a boy. He was strong, he was independent, he had a subject, verb, and a complete thought. Ladies, he was, indeed, the complete package. He was an independent clause, a.k.a. a sentence. Mary wants to go to the dance. Mary is the subject, wants is the verb. Sure, it's a complete thought. They were happy, independent, and didn't need anyone else to complete them. And then they met. They knew that together they could combine two independent clauses with a common idea and make magic. They realized they had something in common. They knew they could be good together. Fireworks flew because they knew that together they could combine two independent clauses with a common idea and make magic. Try it yourself. Mary wants to go to the dance. That's just fine on its own. John wants to ask Mary for a date. Also fine on its own. But those two sentences have something in common. So why not say, Mary wants to go to the dance, semicolon. John wants to ask Mary for a date. Two independent clauses with something in common. Boy meets girl. Boy and girl are just fine on their own. But boy and girl have something in common. Boy and girl fall in love. It works with the period and the comma, too. And when it works, it is a perfect, magical, mighty compound sentence. The End